Well, good morning. Uh, pretty good night's sleep, to be honest with you. Not a breath of wind, really. Nice and warm. Um, we didn't get up to get any astrophotography. The uh, clouds were just too thick. Um, but uh, just poked my head out this morning and the clouds do look quite promising for sunrise. Um, no inversion, which would have been nice, but uh, it is what it is. So I'm going to get up now and uh, yeah, see what's what. Right, we've come round to the, uh, the top of this hill, which gives 360 degree views across the area. Um, because we don't really know what's going to happen with the, uh, with the weather, with the light. Uh, so there's potentially shots this way, um, kind of looking north with some layers of the mountains. As you can probably see behind me, we've got Cadder Edges as well, that might get some morning light. And then just over to this side, uh, you've got the estuary that we've been shooting, so we might get some light there. We have got some lovely high, well, mid to high level clouds. Um, which may catch another light, but there does seem to be, be a bank of cloud on the west where the sun's going to rise, but there's a potential that maybe in, I don't know, half an hour, it might break through and uh, just illuminate this scene. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but it would be nice to come away from this, uh, this experience with at least one or two good images. So, yeah, go back to the sunspot now, and see what happens. Okay, so I'm in pretty much, well, there's a couple of shots I've been doing. There's one with this, um, this like ring of rocks down here. Um, this is like a bit of a, a shelter from, from the weather. Um, using that as foreground and obviously the, the estuary there as, as sort of the background. Um, but I think for that to work, it really does need some direct light on those rocks to really bring out the, the detail. Um, so I opted then to go to uh, do a panoramic, similar to what I was doing last night, but I'm in portrait mode. Um, in at around hmm, 170 mil, and just going from uh, left to right, uh, incorporating the mountains on the left hand side and the mountains on the right hand side, and the estuary rock smack bang in the middle. Had some lovely pink pastels um, just in the background over there, and getting some reflected light on the actual estuary itself, which I think is going to work out to be quite nice. Um, but I won't really know until I get that back in post, but uh, yeah, it's about six. Uh, a sweep of six shots going across, um, about half a second, F11, uh, ISO 100. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to work out to be quite a nice image, but we'll see when we get home. Um, but really now, I think the sun has yeah, sun has risen, but as I suspected, there's a massive bank of cloud over there, which uh, is just cutting out any direct light that we want. But give it maybe half an hour, we might get a bit of a, a break in the clouds, and I think that will just bring this whole area to life, just get some lovely golden light. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, so I've uh, taken some advice from Steve on this one, actually. Um, this mound over here is completely covered in heather. You've got these sort of like grassy paths going through and really rich, vibrant heather, um, like the purple hue showing up. And I've gone for, again, another pano. Um, this time we're in about 200 mil. And I'm not sure, I might go for the wider shot incorporating some of the hill on the, um, on your left-hand side. <laughs> 
Um, or I might just leave it out entirely and just sort of cut it off in the middle of that valley there. We have got some lovely sort of layers because it's quite hazy over the back there, uh, but obviously not, not as hazy nearer to the camera. So I might just keep that on the right hand side and then keep that sort of um, going off into the distance there. So maybe a sort of a three or four shot pano. Um, again, F11, ISO 100, a third of a second now. Uh, the sun's risen quite a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a, a, like an award-winning image, but I think it's going to be quite a nice, nice, nice sort of scene of, of this area, really. So that's only good. I'll pop it on the screen. Uh, but yeah, still waiting for some direct light from the sun, to be honest with you. There's a massive bank of cloud out there on the west, that's uh, on the east. Uh, so I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. Just got to wait it out, really. Got another shot. I think it's really a telephoto morning, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it on the Go on the GoPro, but uh, just over this way, there's um, the mountains in the background, and there's a bank of cloud just kissing the top of the mountain. Um, and you've got some lovely layers because you've got this, this one that's closer up, which is obviously a lot darker, and they gradually get darker as, as you get further away, as, as you'd expect. Um, quite a simple scene, but I quite like it with that just that addition of that cloud on top of that mountain. I think it's making quite an interesting image. So I'm going to pop that one on screen now, but uh, we are starting to get some direct light come through now, which uh, is definitely making things look a bit more detailed, um, a bit more depth to the scenes. So yeah, I'm going to stick around for a bit really and see what else we can get. Um, Steve's gone for a, a wander. Uh, behind the camera, he's probably a good three, 400 meters uh, away. Uh, he's found a nice patch of heather over there. So I'll go mark and have a look at that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I feel like I want to stick around this bit just to see how the weather kind of develops. Um, if we do get any pockets of light, this is a really good vantage point. Um, and I might have to then rush off somewhere else to go and try and get an image. Okay, so, ooh, some lovely god rays coming in behind you. I've just took a shot. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, in fact, I don't think it is, but something caught my eye. There's, um, down here, there's this massive woodland of pine trees, and there's just the slightest hint of a path, quite a wide path going through this forest. And it just had a kiss of light on it, um, with some areas that, that were quite dark still creating a bit of a sort of layering effect to it. It's a, quite an abstract shot. Um, I don't know if I like it, but I don't know. I wanted to shoot it because it caught my eye. So <laughs> if it works out any good, I'll pop it on the screen, but yeah, don't expect great things. Um, okay, so the light is properly up now. We're getting some lovely shafts of light coming through. You can probably just see that on my face now. It really is, as I, say, as I said earlier, up in the case, I think of just keeping the telephoto lens on picking off little areas of interest with light. Um, compositionally, there's not much that I can use in the way of foreground interest. Um, obviously you've got the, on the on this side here, you've got like this rock mound thing, and there are some stones around, but I'm just not finding anything that really works with that. Um, so I'm gonna keep my options open, but I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna keep the telephoto lens on for now. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this shot on the screen. As I say, it's a bit of an abstract one, but let me know what you think. Oh, 
Okay, so a bit of a mad rush around, but basically um, there are some stunning clouds over Kader Idris here that look suspiciously like lenticular clouds. Um, scrapping around to try and find a composition, and I tried to get this uh, set of rocks here uh, as a foreground. I'm not sure it's going to work. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> but yeah, um, the clouds look absolutely stunning. So uh, the, the sun is way, way up now. Uh, we are getting little pockets of light that just keep sort of appearing um, across the landscape. Uh, so it's just really just trying to find those little pockets of light that really stand out and look good. Uh, I can see now over the estuary, over towards Barmouth, um, it's completely lit up over there. So I might get the telephoto lens back on and go right in on Barmouth, that kind of area, um, see if I can get something there. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's uh, particularly great photography morning, but it's just fantastic to be here. Absolutely stunning. I'll definitely be coming back to this particular spot. So I'm gonna try and get that shot over there as well. If this one worked out, I'll put it on the screen. Um, yeah, see what we can get. Uh, yeah, the light's pretty much fizzling out now, as I say. Um, I think I'm pretty much done for the morning, to be honest. So I think I'm going to get all this stuff packed up, get the tent packed up, and uh, might start heading our way back down. Right, that's it, all packed away. Apart from a bit of flattened grass, you wouldn't even know we'd be in here. So if you are coming out in the hills, do everyone a favor, leave no trace. That's it, back at the van, and the end of another fantastic adventure. Uh, had such a great time. I don't think we've got any sort of game changing, I don't think I've got any game changing images, um, but it's just been great getting out on a proper adventure. I've had a couple of outings um, recently, but to actually get out for, for, for all night has been, been fantastic. Had a great time with Steve, um, in a fantastic location, definitely somewhere I want to return to on, on, on the conditions are just right. Um, so yeah, um, that's it really. I hope you've enjoyed watching and see you in the next video. Where I belong